Hello everyone, uh, let's carry on the paper uh, 2018 May-June for paper 2-2 for the presentation section. So let's go to the task uh, number 6 and let's do the presentation part. You're going to create a short presentation. All slides must have a consistent layout and formatting. Unless otherwise instructed, slides should be displayed uh, should display a title and bulleted list. Create a presentation of six slides using learn.rdf. Okay, so to open this learn.rdf, okay, it's supposed to be here over here. We need to open it in the PowerPoint first of all. So open your PowerPoint file and then through PowerPoint file, go to open and browse to that file. I'm going to copy the path and paste it over here and make sure you're presenting all the files from here otherwise nothing will appear and then from the RDF file open that learn file over here you will find it is automatically opening all the required slides you don't need to put any effort and adjust them okay so and then in slide number one, what we need to do, we need to put it on the title slide. So right click, title slide. And then the title and subtitle are, are placed in the center of the slide. This both supposed to be center. If they are not center, make sure to make them in the center. And then, uh, okay, it's already center. Your name appears after the text, a guide to apprenticeships by. So your name is supposed to be after this text. Okay, we put the name also. Let's go to 35. Use a master slide to display the following features on all slides. Your name, center number, candidate number. So right now we're going to use the master slide and display the name and those information and automatic slide number. So we need to add those two things, but it does not even mention the uh, location, I mean right or left or uh, any specific alignment. So we're free to put it anywhere we want. So let's go to view and click on slide master. And always want to forget to go to the very first, scroll to the very first slide. And then we can start right now to put it. So to put it right now, go back to uh, insert. And over here, we can click on over header and footer and this window will appear so what we need to put we need two things this information which will come over here from the footer section you have to activate it you will see that it is the middle part this black section will become black means it got activated here so right now whatever we need to put we need the name center number and candidate number to appear that's the first thing Second, I need the slide number. I just need to activate it, and this is with the right place for it. Here it got activated. So apply to all, and then let's go and close the slide master, and we will find there activated on all of them in the same location. If you want to change the location, so go back again to view slide master, scroll to the very first one, and then go to insert again to the same place header and footer. Oh, sorry we don't need to open here actually we just need to go to the very first slide actually we're not appearing this one so we can delete it what we can do if you want for example to adjust this to the left side and this to be on the right side so we can adjust it so let's make it to the left and this to be to the right okay and then go to slide master and let's close it and let's have a look mm, it's all right we can Take it more actually to the right side to the left side so let me go and try it okay um so let's close it and let's check it okay right now it's working okay so and then after that question number 36 change the layout 
uh, of a slide with the title progression routes progression routes to a title and table okay let's go and have a look change the layout of the slide okay here it is progression routes and then what we need to change to a title and table so let's check it if there is a layout with title and table we don't have title and table so what we can do okay we can choose title and content and then change the content to uh, this table okay they will ask us how many tables columns and rows we want to add let's go to the next part create a table that contains four columns and seven rows okay let's do this so let's put four and rows supposed to be seven rows great and let's click on ok okay and copy the data from the file which is table.rtf and place it in this table okay let's go and check where is that okay it's over here and let's copy this from here to there i'm not sure it will be copied directly or no let me come one two three four five and here we have three four five six seven um okay it won't come correctly if we copy all together mm, let me try okay that's great it worked what i did i just copied everything from here by starting to highlight from the very first top left cell till the last corner cell in the right bottom and then i copied it and i directly paste it in this starting from this cell or you just can highlight all of it and you can paste it in a in any format that you feel it will be working i paste it in just this way and it worked okay let's carry on to the question uh, format the table with all grid lines displayed okay so the grid lines internal and external supposed to be displayed so let's make sure of that point let's go to home unless uh, it's not in home we have to go to all over here borders and we have to make sure all the borders are showing and then and no cell shading okay let me have a look if we have any cell shading yeah we have all those colors are cell shadings so we just have to make it into black and white is there any plain one this must be the plain one okay or what we could do we just can highlight it from over here and go to shading and make sure it is no shading or no filling okay this one was white I need to turn it into black and then it's supposed to look like this okay we need just to make this bold center the things and text let's do this uh, they're not all in center let's go to home make this in the center I have this alignments over here the vertical alignment center so we'll make sure that they are both vertically and horizontally centered I think it's better like this comparison okay the first row the header is supposed to be bold so I believe it is already bold I just need to increase the font for all of them mm -hmm. I need to increase this column and decrease the other columns
this first column over here it needs to be to the left alignment and this also supposed to be left alignment okay that's all maybe I can increase the font a little bit okay good right now it's pretty matching and then let's check the next part of the question um, I didn't forget anything okay let's go to the next question which is 37 insert a new row as the first row of the table and enter the heading supposed to be levels of apprenticeship so to insert the row we can just right click on the first row and uh, where is here add a row okay there is no add a row here so we can just go to here and click on insert above well, right now i'm just going to put it over here it came in a white color so let me turn it into black and then merge the cells in the first row and center align the heading so right click merge the cells I feel it's going too down so we can lift it up a little bit with the right uh, with the upper arrow in the keyboard and then format the rows 1 and 2 of the table to be 20 point size okay let's do this and then why this is okay that's Arial and that's Calibri um, I'm going to make them all into as all of them are Arial okay I prefer Calibri so but I'm going just to keep it all And then fill with the light gray shading between 10% and 25%. And go to design. Shading over here, you can see the gray shading. So you can choose anything between 10 and 25. 15 or 25, I'm going to choose. 15 so with the printing it can be like quite acceptable and then we're done with this question 40 add the following text as presenter speaker notes for the slide with the title progression rules always get advice on the best qualification to suit and your future plans So let's go to this one and here is a presentation or speaker notes just lift it up and paste your notes over here print only this slide as a print, uh, print a presenter or speaker note this will be print out number five let's go let's select this make sure you're selecting this slide and then go to print over here it is selecting this one so we can choose this as a okay it's over here we can go to over this section over here and say notes pages okay so this will print but here are the settings that it is going to print all the slides make sure it is just printing the current slide so only this page will be printed with its notes over here so this is going to be printout number five after that save the presentation and print the slides from one to four as a handout with two slides to the page so after that just it will be already okay we didn't save it so let's make sure we save it in the working area You can choose any name okay so this says uh, like only we need to print the slides from one to four only one to four means 
one, two, three, and four. The rest of the pages, uh, five and six, we don't need it. So we need only these four pages. And what we have to do, print all slides. Over here, we have to mention from one to four. And uh, we have another criteria here that as a hand handout with two slides to the page. So I have to make sure that uh, from here that it is two slides per page. So what am I going to get? As you can see, it's only going to be two uh, slides per those pages. And this is going to be your printout number six. So we reach to the last part of the question. Uh, task seven will be printing all of your evidence document, um, which is, I saved it over here. As you're done with all of the tasks, you should make sure that you're printing your evidence document and make sure you're having no widows or orphans in them. I hope you got all the questions and answers and see you in the next paper.